Hi everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. So, I've had a cold and I sound a little better, but I've been kind of hunkered down at home and I needed to leave the house today to take my BFF to physical therapy. And I was thinking, actually, that's a good thing because I need to get that winter air, that fresh cold bite of air to kind of get this stuff out of me, kind of breathe through my lungs or something. And of course it was like 45 degrees and look at, I'm going to take it because it could stay 45 all winter long and I'm good with that because I'm not a winter gal. So I was just happy to get out. It, I, it did take a lot out of me just because, um, I'm just kind of physically still kind of wore down um, on top of my regular stuff. So anyhow, took her to physical therapy and I just like drank a ton of water while I was waiting for her. Took her to the grocery store and since we were there, I was like, oh, I need some almond milk and then I can get some ginger right away. And then I thought, oh, wait, I can get Kleenex to get this out of the way. And not have to run to the Dollar Tree because I've been avoiding Target like the plague because I do not need 8,000 things when I only need one. So, yeah, I can take whatever t tissue I can get. So, after I took her home, I was a little kind of winded. So, I relaxed for a little bit at her house. And she lives by a different Goodwill. There's a ton. There's a lot of Goodwills in the metro milwaukee metropolitan milwaukee area whatever you want to call it and so um and i go to a lot of different ones any given weekend uh i have one five seconds away it's like three minutes away from my house that i go to more normally but and i've been wanting to go to the bins i found out there's okay so there's one that's like oh i don't know it's probably like 45 minutes away and that's like south between here and uh, Chicago. And then there's another one that's like, I don't know, like an hour and a half away in Appleton. And that's just north of me. So I'm kind of like right in the middle of the two. It, not right in the middle, but I will get to one or both at some point. But it just isn't in the cards right now. Uh, so I, I don't know. I had the... I had the little bug in me and I needed to go. So I went to I went to the one by her house and uh I just didn't even look at clothes. I was not in, you know how sometimes you are like not in the mood for certain things. I was just not looking at clothes. And I didn't look at shoes, I didn't look at purses. I don't need any purses anyway. And um I just went right to the stuff, you know, all the racks and racks of stuff. And I started looking and I don't know, but I got to digging. Now, it's not that I don't have the patience for it normally, but it's the people. That's why I don't think, I doubt that you'll ever see a shop with me, thrift with me, I should say, because there are just too many people. I cannot try to navigate a store with a cart, with a phone trying to tape and talk, because everybody's going to think that I'm talking to them, because... When I shop, I do. <laughs> I'm telling you, I will talk talk to a wall. Yes, I will. So, I got to stay hydrated. And so, I got in there and I went through, like, I kind of had, you know, I don't know if anybody's like me. I have a certain, like, route that I take, depending on what store I'm in. I have a route. And since I wasn't going to go looking at the clothes and all that stuff, so I kind of had to abbreviate my route and kind of take it up one other aisle instead. So I went up this aisle by like the baskets and the glasses and stuff. And I just kind of breezed through just to see if there was anything catching my eye because I was going to catch it back on my route. <laughs> and um, so I swing down so I get to the other side and I go through like some of the whatever stuff. And I'm telling you what, a couple aisles in and I got to digging in that, like, 
I don't know if you want to call it school supplies, but like the supply, like we're, I'm, I'm getting, um, a few years ago, I got into junk journaling with, uh, some friends and, uh, then kind of things happen and you know how just life all over and just didn't spend a lot of time with that person anymore. And, um, kind of circling back around to that anyway. So I really like it. I love junk journaling. If any of you are familiar with it, um, let me know because I would love to share some of the um, people that I watch on YouTube that uh, I've gotten turned on to from a friend of mine. And sometimes, I mean, oh my God, it's crazy inspiring. But anyway, you're not all into that, so you don't want to hear it. Let me get into this haul. And I can't remember, I was going to look this up, what that is called when people don't like the sound or do like the sound of paper and bags and and I didn't look, but it just, I just got home and I want to watch that um, R. Kelly second series of uh, The Reckoning uh, because I watched that whole first series on that scumbag and especially being that I live very close to Chicago, not in, not in the state of Illinois, but I'm close enough and my daughter is actually considering a college that she got accepted to uh, there, Chicago. And so... I'm very interested in this whole R. Kelly thing. And I like to stay a little bit on, you know, in pop culture. I'm not 22 anymore. And, uh, Lord knows, uh, I don't know half of what I hear some people talking about. I don't get to a movie anymore. I just don't, I'm not locked in like I used to be. And then, of course, I was in the car for a while today and it was Throwback Thursday, so... The music I heard was all the kind of stuff that I already know. So I did not get uh, enlightened any. <laughs> and yes, I'm a big air quote person. I'm a big sarcasm person. I, but I'm, I'm genuine. FYI. So anyway, yeah, I want to get to watching that later. So I just, like, God just got home. Loved on my dog because, oh my God, I was gone so long. I feel very bad. And let me tell you guys, I have never, never, never been in a Goodwill for this long. But I was there for over three hours. Like usually a regular trip, thorough, you know, normal. Not not like crazy thorough, but, you know, thorough. It's like an hour. And maybe part of the problem was that there was one person checking people out. And the line was uh, long. So anyway. Let me get on with the haul. I'm sorry. And I'm going to put my glasses on because, well, I will even. Because I can't see anymore. I mean, I'm nearsighted, but with contacts, I have to, you know, you know, I need my glasses. It's going to be, you know, I, I'm just going to pick the stuff out of the bag and take it from there. So, first thing here is it's... <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's not a throwback, but it kind of is. It's a gift wrap. I don't even know what they call this. It's a gift wrap set. I guess. It's a book is what it is. This is for my junk journaling people. And this only cost me... Oh, and the tag was pink. Look, if I'm lucky, I find one thing with whatever the tag is. I nailed pink. It's my favorite color, so maybe that had something to do with it. Because I was picking up the pink today. So it was. it's marked $1.99. Got this for a dollar. And, um, I mean, this thing is a wealth of goodness. I'm going to show you a couple pages because it's, it's really cool. That's just the opening page. And it's for UNICEF. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like I done, did something good, too. <laughs> And I like to do that. I like that picture right there. You could frame that. That's pretty. That might be in my spring, which is until after after uh, I gotta check when Easter is, and that'll decide on my spring decor because I got a long winter months ahead. So yeah, they have like they have this page here of all the different. Gift wraps. I like this one. 
I used to be, back in the day, I mean, I wasn't always all vintage. I always loved, I grew up with mid-century modern, okay? Um, my grandparents' house was everything vintage, in a sense, which, I mean, now it's vintage. And growing up, my mom wasn't like, you know, like, I'm going to buy everything this, you know. But it just happened to be the time time that it was. It was, it was um, mid-century modern, everything. And I was mod. I was all about, like, you know, just stone and rock, like, uh, glass and, and bright color. Just very contemporary. And then, I don't know, like, I, I finally just let myself take over again. And I just love... I, I've been thrifting. I've been goodwilling since I was a child. Literally, before I was 10, there was one goodwill. And I won't even go to that one. I always forget it's even in existence because it's just not great. Yeah, maybe I'll go there sometime. <laughs> um, but um, but me and my mom, we gave, uh, we had rummage sales every year, and we had people come, and they were like, "Oh, this is you guys have the best rummage sales." I was like, so glad to see that sign go up. And my grandma would sit with us, and she sometimes my girl, oh my grandma, would be like, if somebody came up. And was asking for something. You know, like a guy would be like, oh, you got any fishing gear? And she'd be like, we had, oh, we had like 15 fishing rods. And we had all these, um, you know, whatever the, oh, God, I can't even think of all the, all the tackle box crap. She'd be like, we just sold that. A guy would come like, do you have any old cameras? We just sold the one we had. I'm not kidding you. She did this. And she was endearing. It, it, she was awesome. Anyway, I don't even know. I, I go off in these tangents. So anyhow, we were always doing all this thrifting. And my tastes have changed. And I finally came back to what I really like. And that is whatever I want. What, I, what pleases me. Mostly vintage. So anyhow, I really something... Oh, I just love that. Wait till you see the page. Oh, sorry. I turned on every light, you guys. I've got... And, and as soon as I'm done with this video, it's all going back off. And I'm just leaving the tree on. But some of this... I mean, this is... This is like real, for real, uh, wrapping paper in here. I could wrap a gift if I wanted to. And some of this is not my... Like, that's not really me. The real um, tropical-looking stuff. And this is kind of cute for little kids. Oh, that would be... So like, really darling for a little girl, a little boy, whatever, room. Um, that's cute. That's really neat. Some of these... Oh, this is hard. It's big. <laughs> Look at the little youngsters playing in the snow. Keep it on the page, kids. Keep it on the page. Oh, here. Oh, here's a page that somebody tore out. Okay, let me try to keep my elbow in here. And it's... I mean... I know it's going to sound crazy, but it's a little bit like Monet-ish. Isn't it? Kind of? I don't know. But it's pretty. I mean, this is just, I can see um, gifting. Oh, so here. Isn't, I love that. I think it's super cool. That's That page is not so much me anymore. It looks like a quilt. Which is fine. I got quilts. People, I do. But, um, little child. <laughs> Build a snowman. That's really cute. I, I, um, I can say this from having watched a lot of your videos for so long. And then look at this. There's cardboard tags that you can see there's like little holes. Oh, oh that page fell up. There's like little holes in there for gift tag. So you can, oh. That's so the neatest. Anyhow, when I was looking through this, excuse me, let me get that. Um, when I was looking through this at the store, I was thinking, oh, that reminds me of so and so, Tammy Roberts. Some one page remind me of Tammy Roberts, and um, you know stuff like that. Anyhow, I just think this is really cute. And a dollar, hello, that's amazing it's really something that i was looking for today was stuff for my junk journaling okay the next thing i got i gotta try to shimmy these things back in order Ooh, that's glary okay here we go this is 99 cents 99 cents 
there is, um, I don't know how vintage it is. I'm not, like, the expert of what year things came out. But, um, there's no UPC. And you can tell it's old. Um, but it does say dishwasher safe, so when did dishwasher start coming out? I don't know. But I gotta start to, I gotta try to find a way, anyway, to get these back in their little spots, because I guess I could um, take the cellophane off and put some back on like um, Alex did with her um, shiny brights uh, from Chapter 2 Vintage. So, there's like a angel, okay, and I think that's a sleigh. Uh, that's like a starburst, like a light in the, like, I want to say, I, you know, in my mind, it's like that shiny Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Jerusalem, oh God, my brain, sky over the nativity. And, uh, let me shake some of these over. There's a, 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 a jaunting, uh, reindeer. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, I think that's a little, I think that's a gingerbread boy, man, whatever. He looks like the Bumble, kind of, before the Bumble came to be, I think. There's a Christmas treat. Anyway, I'll take this out of the box. Oh, duh. <laughs> a dumbass. Oh, dummy. Sorry. I'm going to get stricken. Oh, this is tape with some really old tape. There. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it says on the side, reindeer, sleigh, star, Santa, tree, angel. Anyhow. Yeah. I'm going to pop them all back in there and secure them in their spots. And this is 99 cents. And let me just tell you. Okay, I'm sorry. I was getting really good at looking over here. I gotta start, stop looking over there. Look at this. I mean, I want to display this. Christmas cookie recipe. And look at that graphic. That is... I love this. I love this so much. Basic rolled vanilla cookies that you frost and or decorate. Yes. With her... Ooh, back in the day, uh, OG KitchenAid there. Uh, I love this. <laughs> anyway, moving along. Okay, this, I hope this don't get me in any kind of trouble. <laughs> I can't help it. It's a coloring book. I'm going to try to, uh, here, I'm going to be good. I'm going to try. There's one page. Okay, please, please, please do not judge me for this. I am trying not to swear as much as I have in the past. And when I'm around children or older adults, or a church crowd, or a certain crowd. I mean, I know my audience. I'm a good girl, and I'm going to learn to not... I'm going to learn to keep it G-rated, PG-ish. But this is hilarious. And let me just... Let me just... <laughs> this is so funny. I mean, first of all, they're the cutest pictures. But then the sayings are just... <laughs> Come on. That's awesome. I'm sorry. That's awesome. And I don't care if it was $1.99. Worth it. <laughs> you will, There will come a day where I'll be thinking just exactly of one of you at some point. And I'm going to color that page. I'm going to send it on. And you can put it on your refrigerator. <laughs> Alright. Now, this 
I got, oh, I think I bought three of them because I just feel like, let's put it this way. I know I'm going to be one of those people that's going to start sending friend mail. And uh, I missed the whole Christmas uh, train there. And, uh, sorry. I'm, um, uh, excuse me. Trying to think, oh, well, I mean, I'm not collecting. Look, I will tell you, it is hard knowing that I'm going to do a, a haul video. It's hard to not buy certain things because, yeah, maybe that's why people do the haul videos. Like I said, I or the shop with me. I can't do it. It's just not our, I don't know, my area. It's just not possible for me. And plus they blast the music. I Like I was jamming to a. Uh, What's that Miley Cyrus song? Hop in the train and the Jay Z songs on. I'm like I'm looking at glassware with my knees that can't bend very far, trying to boogie on down to the bottom shelf to look at some Pyrex or whatever. I cannot try to tape. <laughs> I will end up with a ambulance on speed dial. So anyhow. I know that I will be friend mailing some things because even before I finally started doing this, I would see things and I think of, I think of some of you, um, like that's one of the reasons I wanted to start doing this because having you, yeah, how you say, um, and Joan was one that really pushed me into it and I'm so glad she did because I, I lack confidence. Um, and she's like, you just gotta do it. Just do it. If you're, if you're being able to reply, you have a channel already. Okay. So then I changed the name because, um, when I was starting up my, uh, when I used to sell at vintage markets, um, and I was going to do a, a blog back in the day and I tried to come up with a, I came up and I got comfy, cozy living. Cause that's part of my, um, my email address. And, uh, but my business name was vintage remix. And that's why I went back to Comfy Cozy Living because that's more just broad. And that's like just me. Anybody that comes in my house, like at some point, the words cozy, the word cozy always comes up. Um, probably because I have a small house. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I had to start doing this because I felt like um, while I could, I could uh, comment... Some of you guys, you get lots of comments. And I don't know if anybody knows who I am, a name. And you know, there's a lot of names, <laughs> period. There's a lot of names. So I was like, I want to be friends with, not like I want to be friends with everybody. I mean, I do because I, I like people and I'm, I'm just a people, people person. I've always been a people person. Um, but, uh. I just, I had to cross over into the front of the camera for you all to get to know me so that maybe someday when you guys are at Goodwill and you see something, you're going to say, that makes me think of Michelle or Comfy Cozy Living or whatever. And um, it makes me smile when I'm in a store. Even I don't, People are probably like, what's wrong with this chick? Well, whatever. Makes me happy. So anyhow, let's go and show you the next thing. I got two of these because, first of all, I think these are from, I don't know. I feel like these were from the Target dollar spot at some point. I don't know. They were $1.50. Well, they were 50 cents, but pink, 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 25 cents, people. And a lot of them, there were a bunch. And some of them, like, where the writing was kind of scuffed and stuff. I don't know. Plus, I am not trying to buy 8000 of everything just because I see it. i got to be real. I don't have places for pe for putting stuff. And I got I try to know what I'm going to do with stuff. But I, if I love it and I can get it, I will get it. Period. Oh, I'm so sorry for saying period all the time. i got a teenage daughter that says that all the time. I don't even know where it comes from, but it's one of those pop culture things. So anyhow, this, this is the first one I saw and this one I got two of. It's a uh, wild, 
Wildflower at Heart. There's two of them in the two different colors. And then this one says Grow Big Dreams. And I do a really cute, well, I think it's cute, uh, spring display. And I was like, oh, this is totally getting stuck in some of my display. But also, and I should have checked this before. What is Misty's store name? Is it Wildflower Antiques? Or is it Wild Heart? Wildflower? Anyway, I thought of her. As soon as I read this, I thought of her. So, hopefully she'll eventually get to see my, my I'll get on her radar. And uh, I'm going to stick one of these aside. Because eventually one will go to her. There's my other one. 25 cents a piece for these. Ugh. My price range, people. And then this one says, make things grow. So many weeds, so little time. Amen. And let's talk some dirt. <laughs> I mean, I just love this. So, for the three of them, $1.50 originally, one, two, three, four, fifty, and I and I got them for 75 cents altogether. Now, what's next? Okay, this is for my, um, some of my junk journaling and stuff, and maybe this is, I don't know, I kind of felt like, oh. 99 cents might have been a little much for these. Starting to find these little baggies of stuff. I'm starting... My places are starting to get better stuff in there. Used to be like some old dried up, no scent left, crappy uh, votive candle and like some pieces of uh, wax melts. <laughs> like some half used crayons and bags and some matchbox cars and just a bunch of junk I don't want. And look, I ain't judging because I like my junk and I respect people liking their junk, but some stuff just maybe, I don't know. Like it's, it, it drives me nuts thinking about it when I think of like, um, <laughs> Nicole finds the best stuff at the bins and some of the stuff, I mean, I know she cleans it up, but some of the stuff when she's like filming a, a shop with me. Even looks like pristine as she picks it up out of this heaping pile of junk. And I'm like, how does it, don't you all think, how does it make it that far? And being that good of, she's even said that. Especially like some of these pieces that are like literally not even packaged. It's crazy. So, um, anyway, it just, I, it's crazy to me that, that some of the stuff that they do try to sell at the regular stores is like beyond the garbage bag, you know, can. But then the bins end up with pristine, perfect, awesome things. So this is um, for what I like. This is ninety nine cents. Sorry, I'm still nasally. <clears throat> and this is like wood. They're all wood. It's just four of them. But these are gonna be good for junk journaling and stuff, or also uh, gift wrap, uh, Christmas gifts. My thing is. I only have really one person that I, I don't get, I don't, I don't exchange gifts with a lot of people. And there's really my, my uh, bestie is the one that appreciates it. So like if I used it for a gift, it would be on hers. But I, I totally have visions for this for junk journaling already. So, um, that's what these are for. And I was super psyched because walking into, to, um, Goodwill today, my thought, process was really to look for a lot of that junk journal stuff and uh the funny thing is I have never been in a Goodwill as long as I was today I was in there for over three hours my kids are visiting their dad in Tennessee I didn't have to run home except for that my dog was all alone for so long today like not expected I didn't leave the light on I mean it's okay but she loved me to death when I got in that door um but I really accomplished, I mean, I dug, I dug, it was just, it was like, my friend said, therapeutic, oh, it was, I, that's crazy, I, I mean, you laugh at a lot of the stuff you come across, maybe that's part of it, too, in the therapy aspect, but I did find a lot of good stuff, so anyhow, moving on. This is going to be for my... Um, my spring 
decor. I change, like, I'll take, I'll change everything even on the walls. Not everything, but anyway, this was, uh, it was $2.99, but let's face it, you just, oh, sorry, it's a mirror, it's gonna reflect. There. <laughs> there, that's a good picture. Ooh, there, that's a good picture. Ooh. Anyway, I love, I, I'll always love chippy stuff. And my spring look includes birds. So there she goes. And you know what? Someday if I'm tired of birds, this thing could get very easily knocked right off. And it's got the little hook already. Perfect. So like I said, $3 might be a lot, but it is what it is. Now this, I was on the fence about just because, I don't know, there's some parts of it are very, I gotta start remembering to bring this closer to the camera. It's a candle ring. I'm gonna use a white pillar. Am I obsessed with candle rings these days? I don't know. Look, if, picture that's a candle. A white candle, one of those that, um, you know, the non- flame candle um i have many and that'll be so cute oh my gosh but look at this okay it was a dollar 99 huh, whatever it would i rather it be a dollar yeah or 50 cents but it's really cute it's, it's totally vintage to me um by looking at this the more i looked at it if it's not i don't even care but i it's gonna need a little soak not really sure what the best way to clean this is. I'm thinking just uh, kind of some soapy water and set it down like this. And then, you know, let it set for a while. And then shake it out and let it, you know, dry out or something. But it's it's really cute. That's going to be so cute in the spring. Isn't that cute? So, there we go. Next thing. Next thing was... 99 cents and uh, it's well this one has never been used even now I don't know how this first came you know because it looks like honestly you know what it just now reminded me of somebody must have tried to like take all the you know how the paper part is bigger usually kind of overlaps like sandwiches in the well it looks like somebody maybe tried to cut it all down because it's kind of wonky all over the place but they tried to cut it down to size so to speak so whatever I mean it's cute and this is that it's not a metal ring so you know this is um vintage this is this is um it's not velvet is it velvet yeah, that's velvet. But super cute in the in the um Christmas time. Well, I guess now I'm gonna have to try to trim it and make it a not a perfect circle, but you know, more uh aesthetically pleasing. And then I'll be able to stack that, put a little elf or something on it. But there's more of the green because it's brand new, never been used. You can see that there. That's the little. That it's not tape. It's that. Well, I mean, it's that stuff that you can feel on the outside, whatever it came with. And then there's the. You can see that the plastic on the other side. So, yeah, not gonna use it. Well, I mean, if I have, if I need it, I guess I will. But I'm gonna decorate. I am dry. Okay. I mean, you guys, these bags, they, it was by the supplies stuff and it wasn't hung on a thing like it should have been. They have certain areas, like in the, you'd be going down the thing, all shelf, 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 and then there would be one area where they just have like all these like things supposed to be hanging and like different kind of shelf. They have good intentions, but people are pigs. And they don't care about anybody but themselves. 
so they shoot things all over the place. Anyhow, I kind of had a rhythm where I started at the top, and then I went through it, and then I kind of went through the bottom, and I was like, kind of, like the store should have put me on payroll. I was like, <laughs> putting stuff where it made more sense, not like placing it, but just so that like, a heavy piece wasn't gonna actually I would go like over to the top of the shelf and put certain things even up on the top because it don't need to be like rolling down um if it if I mean sometimes those kids that work there they just shove stuff anywhere they don't really care and literally one innocent well-meaning person just wants to look at one thing pull it out and next thing you hear crash and I heard two crashes while I was waiting in line today matter of fact the girl said when I was checking out it was a big crash and um, she said, you, you never get used to that. I mean, it was all, I looked, it was green glass all over the place. And I said, oh, don't worry, it was just an empty beer bottle. Because I remember just looking at that. There's like five empty, I think it would have been Heineken is the green bottle. And then uh, some brown ones. Just some beer bottles. People are like, it, it's crazy. I know people use that stuff for crafting, but... There should just be a place where you can get stuff for free. I don't know. Like, ugh, I don't know. Anyway, you guys, this egg, do you see this? Because let me tell you right now, I saw this and this, and I knew what that was. Because I have, I have one just like this in my pink vintage Christmas bedroom right now, which would be going away in a few days. And there's not a tag on the bottom, but I knew what it was. It's a girly candle. And these other two, first, let me just show you these other two first, because they're beautiful. And they deserve their attention too. And then we'll go to the other ones. This was $1.99. And let's just face it. These are girly candles. There are four. four. That's 50 cents a candle. So anybody that collects some curly candles, um, I know some of you, and I'm not going to name names, Miss Stoneholm, uh, Tarnished Treasures, she has the best luck, and she has the best vintage finds, and, well, I mean, she's an awesome person, so of course the people are like, here, have this whole pile of stuff for seven cents, <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm like, she'll say how much she spent, like, she spent eight dollars, and she's got, like, a house full of stuff, and I'm like, here, out maybe we're close too close to Illinois because in Illinois prices are, ch -ch -ch -ch. and um, I don't know. We just I don't get deals like that. So I'm, this is to me crazy. And there's a ton of look. There is a ton of glitter. If any of you haven't seen these, these are girly candles. Yes, they are in pink. Um, I have a green. I have two green ones in my uh bathroom but I have a pink one just like this in my bedroom I, I you know I, I love me some girly candles but look I mean they are just oh they're so cute I love them now these somebody please if you guys know anything about these because I have never seen these now that doesn't mean anything but I'm just saying in my mind that means that they must be really old but it's possible that I'm wrong it's very possible that I'm wrong but I think in this case this is amazing look now again nothing on the bottom but look at that you guys look can you see that I mean can you see? It's like looking inside of an ear canal or something. Woo. Look, I can see all the way through the brain. <laughs> it's it's so cool because you can see how the whole shape is like in there. I mean, and this, like somebody must have tried to pull the, the wick out. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking I'm going to... um. Not now, maybe like after, you know, next Christmas time. I will um, blow dry this a little bit, get some heat on there so I can bend this because I don't want to do it now. I'll break it right in half. And um, like I said, again, 
any advice I want, I will take it all happily. Um, so that I can put the candle down back up in back down in there because like these are both way out. So anyhow, this back side is just like this. Um, it's very like oh, it's glittery, and you can see the striations in there, right? In there, you can see that. But you guys, the side. Did you see this? This little angel. I. I mean, I know it's kind of wonky, like, you know, like some, it probably got melty or something. But they're both kind of shaped, kind of odd like that. And it's got this, like, it's, you know, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup um, package, the wrapper. It's almost like that on the inside. But, um, but look at that. I mean, am I crazy? This is something I have never seen. I, I'm... Like I said, I, I I live in the dark. I don't know. You guys, I'm at 41 minutes. Oh my gosh. Please, I hope everybody stays, everybody stays and watches. But look at this other one. Look at that little angel. I just love these. I can't even believe my luck. And um, I think I had made a list for my searching this year and girly candles. Not that I don't know to look, but... Sometimes you just have to remind yourself. Anyhow, I better speed this up. I'm sorry, but this is going to be. This was $2.99 pink. It was half off, a buck and a half. Boston store is, and I think I said this during a haul, uh, or uh, um, one of my videos of my tour. This is a store that was in the Milwaukee area, just closed last year. A department store like, um, like Macy's or like Marshall Fields and stuff used to be. I can't remember. Like J.C. Penney, you know, the malls all had J.C. Penney, Sears, uh, and Boston store here. So anyhow, I don't even. I didn't care what was in it. As soon as I saw it was pink, I was like, at least it's a dollar and a half. All right, I know it's a lot to spend on a box. I really just wanted the box, but inside is <laughs> some. I don't even. It's some salt and no, not salt and pepper, but they're heavy. These um, they're candle stick holders, and they are. Oh Lord. Oh, I got it upside down. Some uh, deacon, something. Well. They're both worn off. No, that was not Deacon. Guys, can I get this close enough for you guys to see? And I think it's backwards. And I, I am sorry. I have to learn how to figure out all this stuff. I don't know. They're heavy. They're substantial. Um... I don't know why I just smelled that. And they had like a, a little tiny piece of bubble wrap and some paper towel to separate them so they wouldn't get, you know, banged up and scuffed. That's cute. So I don't know. I mean, I'll probably find something to do with those too. But I really just like the box. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right. These, I'm just going to, I'm going to try to run through so this is better. 25, this was 50 cents pink, so it was 25 cents black candles. I feel like, um, for a quarter, I just needed to get those. These are mercury glass, gold mercury glass beads. I mean, I was like, what? I couldn't even believe it. Now, gold is not my color. Silver is my color. If I gotta, if I gotta pick a, met, a metal, but... I was, they're 50 cents each. So gold schmold, <laughs> they were mine. All right. And then um, this, I am going to be, this was 50 cents. It's super cute. It's a, it's a measuring cup. It's a half cup, I don't care. It's going to be in my, my uh, little Valentine decorations. Super cute. 
So it was 50 cents. And I got a grapefruit, grapefruit spoon. I have never owned one. And I do like grapefruit, so maybe that'll get me... I think those are all a dime. I don't know. This I opened, so now, of course, some of the things have settled. These are some um, uh, ring fasteners. If anybody's into uh, crafting, scrapping, junk journaling, all this stuff, Tim Holtz is a pretty big name. So um, this package is brand new, 99 cents. And that'll be cool for my junk journaling. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. These, uh, you guys are going to laugh at me because people out there get such better deals than me. 50 cents each. But I I used to buy these and sell them, and now I'm buying them and keeping them. And those are going to be, I, I don't know what season I'll use those for sure in winter. But this was marked 50 cents. But pink, so it's a quarter. Isn't that the cutest bird? This is tiny. See how big my hand is? That'll be in my vintage uh, spring stuff. This was not marked. It's pretty big, again, size of my hand. And I got it for a quarter. Um, I want to use it for, like, uh, glitter and stuff. Um, for crafting. Um, but if... i got to make sure that the holes are good enough size. Um, otherwise, because it's so pretty, then you can see it too and use it. Um, it was 50 cents because it didn't have a price, and I was like, you know what, that's fine. So, this is, I just think, I don't know, I just love this. And I'm glad there was only one set because I wasn't tempted. I don't, I, I'm going to try to do a little coffee station, and I think this will look really cute by it or with it. Oh my God, look at that back. That is gorgeous. Guys, they're pretty. Oh. So, um, marked three ninety nine. Pink, so it was two dollars. Little cup. I'm not gonna try to undo this now because I, I gotta skid out here on this video. But isn't that just the prettiest? I'll um, I'll probably get around to getting all that set up next week. To be honest, after my kids come home and after I put away Christmas, um. And then I'll uh, do like some, you know, how I decorate or whatever. Uh, got this. Um, I think the soft cover books are 99 cents. Christmas ideals. Not ideas, ideals. So it was like, oh, it's like, you know, stories. Anyhow, 1974. And it says, Beth and, oh, I can't, I, oof. Is that even in English? I don't even think that's in English. I don't know, but um, this actually was published in Milwaukee. Um, <laughs> this is hilarious because the address of where this was published is probably like a mile or so away from the store at the Goodwill that I was at, that I bought this at. That's crazy. Anyway, there's just really cute um, pictures. I bought this for junk journaling. And let me just say, Nicole North Garden, I feel like you have mentioned junk journaling in the past. And if you have, then I am... Um, uh, there are pages in this book that you have to have. And you might not want to use them all for junk journaling. You might just want to frame some of these. But um, this book is just... Where is it? Oh, there it is. A Swedish Yuletide Festival. Okay, but here's the page that made me think of Nicole. Um, the Nissen. The Friendly Elf of Scandinavian uh, Folklore. Is that like a... Minnesota thing? <laughs> I know I got Wisconsin eggs and I need to shut up. Um, anyhow, this is just, look, Christmas Eve in Denmark. I'm going to look at this close. Oh, guys. Oh, a Christmas puppy. A brand new baby puppy. A gift for all to see. Outshines the other presents beneath our Christmas tree. <laughs> Didn't we all want a dog for Christmas, even if we had one? <laughs> this is just, 
I mean, this is like history and poems. It's history and poetry and art and... I don't even know. It's just, I love this. And I'm really proud that it, it was a Milwaukee thing. But so am I. Born and raised, although I now live in the suburbs and by way of some other cities I lived in along the way. And then I got this also for um, junk journaling. Just, I went through some books. Whew. Anyhow, there's, um, that's like, see, there's like a good page. And there's just maps and stuff. There's just some really great pages. I've always been really good with direction, even since I was a child. And uh, my um, bestie calls me Jeep, short for GPS. And uh, I am a, f I, ha I, I have a fondness for this, like the compass kind of, different compass um, images, I guess. So anyhow. I think that's cool. That's going to be very helpful in my um, junk journaling. What is this? Oh, heavens. Okay. Um, back in the day, I collected every Avon known to man. And um, I got rid of them. And now, I like I think I've said this before, I just collect Christmas ones and my girls. And I'll show you my girls because now I got one. Anyway, this was 99 cents. I literally can't believe it. Because usually they mark them ridiculous pricing. So that's going to be for my Christmas. Um, I'm gonna, She'll get put away soon. But she's, she's pretty. And then this. this is, these are my girls. This is what I'm talking about. This is not the girl. Someday I, I'll show you guys that one. Those. Uh, that'll be a tour. It's the Small World Girls. This was 99 cents. And I rescue any one of these, even if she can have scuffs. She can not have a head. She can just be a head. Any parts, pieces, or beings of this that I find reasonably priced, I buy. Because this collar might be missing on the one I have. I have my collection downstairs in my basement. And I honestly, oh my god, I just noticed that my dog is mad at me because I'm ignoring her. And she got into the garbage of the bathroom. That's not good, Bella. So anyhow, love, 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 and, whew. oh yeah, this is, um, Joy, um, this is one of those hearth on hand, at, from Target, it was a dollar ninety nine. I know that seems like a lot, but I could just picture where I was going to have it if I do my little coffee set thing. It would be good for, like, um, when you stir your coffee, you know, after you stir your creamer in. And I don't always like to have it, you know, keep the spoon or whatever. Then you can just set them. That's exactly how I have it pictured. I already know. But they had two Joys and one Mary or two Marys and one Joy. And I just I just really just wanted the Joy um, for $2. Look, if they are less, maybe we would be talking. I would have bought more, but... There were only three of them, and I felt better because there was a lady that came right behind me, and I think she, um, I think she got the others. This is the last thing I got, and I don't remember what it even is. Oh, yes I do. So, this, this, um, marked 99 pink. So, 50 cents, you guys. I have got, I've always loved denim blue. I, I like blue jeans. I'm a blue jean girl. And, um... This last year, I've just kind of embraced the colors more. I was very earth tones, and it got boring. Um, so I put all that downstairs, and my I finished my basement up. Um, well, it was finished, but I technically had to do some work <laughs> and paint and everything. So it's like another living room down there. And I still love it, but now I, I can bring in color up here. I painted white. In, my friend, my bestie, painted it. <laughs> It used to be like, a, I don't know what color that is in my kitchen, like a beige or brown. So anyhow, I like added some blues because they're kind of denim -y. And I got some really, this is going to go perfect, I, I feel like. It's going to go perfect with these um, other things I had out before Christmas. And I know exactly where they go. I go by my TV. And I love it because then I, I have my, my, my eye goes to, when I'm watching TV, 
And then if like a commercial or whatever, if I'm fast forwarding through a commercial, and then I look over here, no, I see my pretties. And this is West Elm, and I, I mean, I know that's a good brand, but I've never, I don't, I'm not a big online store shopping person, and I've never been to a West Elm store. But anyhow, fifty cents, I know I got a deal. And I don't know, this is kind of too small for a cup, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna clean it, and it's just gonna be pretty, and maybe I'll put a little sprig of something in there. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, oh my God, going on an hour and I feel horrible. If you stayed with me, I love you. And um, I will try to not do this anymore. I should have broke it up into two pieces. I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know enough about all that. So you guys, I'm a talker. I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. And um, please like this video. I don't know why people watch and if they, if they do watch it, I hope they like it. And then I hope they just hit that like button. And I hope you guys subscribe. That would be awesome. And maybe uh, share so that I can kind of get on some people's radars. And I want your comments. Even, even if you tell me, I mean, don't tell me horrible stuff. <laughs> well, you know, within reason, I can take constructive criticism. But um, I'm just trying to have fun, you guys. So uh, anyway, thank you. And... Um, this was fun. Now I'm feeling I'm starting to get feeling it. And I'm going to have to start learning like how to break things up and maybe, um, I don't know, warn people because I didn't know. So anyway, thanks you guys. And uh, I'm going to be tearing down some Christmas next week and I'll, I'll start doing some redecorating. I don't think I'll have anything between now and like Monday for sure. But then you never know. So thanks you guys. This is Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. See you next time.